What's going on everyone? It is almost 9 p.m. and I'm trying to get my car done for my customer. It's not my car, it's actually my customer's car. This is a 1965 Ford Mustang and we did the 351 swap, throwing some halos on there. We're still getting a button up the other side on the other halo. Uh, Dakota Digital Dash, uh, 670 Holly Carburetor, Stealth Intake, um, AC, new transmission it's in the back of the truck we're gonna put it on right now well i'm gonna put it on i've been doing this solo for over a week and trying to do two cars at once so we've got a 66 this is a 65 this is a this car was actually a um v6 our inline six uh car then they did a 302 swap poor customer paid this guy thousands of dollars to do a 302 swap and put a transmission in and rebuild the engine and then he never got to drive it um <laughs> It never ran right, and then uh, he took it to mechanic. The guy's like, "Ah, I don't want to deal with it." And the other guy was like, "No, nah, I think your engine's messed up." And then I was like, hey, "Bring it over here, dude. I'll fix it for you." And then I turned it on. I was like, "Holy shit, dude! You got a? Um, I think you're rolling coal out of your valve cover because I mean that thing had so much blow by. It was ridiculous." And then you would turn it on, and it sounded like a, one of those, like my grandma was trying to make a shirt for me or something. It was like, 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 like. You could just hear the lifters. I mean, there was so much play in it i mean it was it was bad the poor guy man he put like three four maybe five grand six grand to this other guy to get him a used engine and uh redo it and put a transmission in there and then it never would get out of first gear so uh he brought it to me i got him a brand new engine we're, we're gonna do a 302 this is actually a uh 351 it does have it is punched out a little bit because uh i go through a vendor that builds them for me and uh they're basically refurbished blocks so they punch them out they use really good internals and um they give me great prices on this so you know he's probably going to spend about the same amount which is double paying that he paid with the other guy but he's getting much more because he's getting a, he got a brand new wiring harness rewire from front to, from the front headlight to the rear tail lights he got a brand new engine with a four-year warranty he got a brand new transmission with a two-year warranty he got a um, stealth intake. He got the 351 valve covers. He got an H uh, HEI distributor. He, we did a two-wire setup or one-wire setup. That's actually two-wire setup. So the starter wire over here. Let's see if we can get that light there. There we go. So the wire and harness gets tucked over here. We're going to still bring that up and finish this up. But it's literally one wire. Uh, this wire doesn't even go anywhere. It's one wire. Uh, this just uh, you hit the start signal and it transfers the power over here. This wire goes over here to, uh, to power this up, and then you get one, the wire the wire to your battery, and that's it. And of course, you ground out your block. So instead of having he had one, two, three, four, five relays, and then there was something else down here, and there was just a cluster F. I should have taken a picture of all the wiring that was in here, and then I mean it was bad, guys. And so I was like, okay, well, no big deal. Uh, we can fix this you know what i mean and then one second i was like we can fix this and I'll, I'll just clean it all up so then i go to clean it up and then i start going to the inside and then like the damn fuse box someone had rewired wires and it, it it was it almost caught itself on fire so i was like dude there's nothing good that's left of this car so um you know upgraded his lights to code digital like i said a whole bunch of brand new parts on top of the engine to make it look shiny and pretty and then uh of course we're not gonna put a cam in it you know we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that but anyway uh you know that would void warranty why would we do that anyway um you run the engine for a little bit and then you take it and you put it on a space saver bag and you seal it up and you shelf that thing and then um if something were to happen the cam goes back into the car a little trick for you anyway uh, I will give you guys another update in a little bit and let you know where we're at. And uh, hopefully you guys uh, are interested and happy with what we're doing here, man. Later.